Hello there and welcome to part 10 of Ryu Quest where Ming is currently uh, screwing us over quite badly. And I also just realized I have a couple of leaders not doing anything that I can uh, put to use. Uh, Ming has quite a lot of uh, war exhaustion by now. As you can see, 1425, I believe the limit is about 18, 19, 20. We still have a manager pool by 224, but I believe we're gaining some thanks to, uh, thanks to their... Uh, Occupied home promises here, we gain about 10 a month. Still, we are currently pretty well set up, I think. Uh, we will be able to escape this army, and I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to get out of this war without too many losses. Perhaps we will be able to uh, get out of it simply by giving them Brahma food track machine. Something up here that, uh, that we don't have a core on, hopefully. And if we are able to do so, I would be very much happy. But uh, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, they uh, don't seem like they want to accept anything. Uh, so, yeah. They still probably realize that they can get a lot more out of this war, and that's why they, as you can see, won't accept anything from me. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of a pity, but uh, we'll simply have to keep going and. Uh, See if we can beat them back. Uh, I don't know if I can actually offer to... No. I can't offer to take their uh, religion. Which is kind of bad. Because uh, turning Confuci Confucian would actually help me a lot. Since uh, since it will give me some more tolerance. And also it will... Uh, uh, change the fact that every country has a uh, conquest cast belly on me I believe. No, colonial conquest cast belly. Since I am animist. So yeah. We'll, uh, we'll have to rectify that in the GIF, but uh, as I said, this one will, uh, unlike the other one, be uh, more uh, dense, condensed to into what's really happening. Last time I was just running around basically like with the chicken that it has cut, had cut off, trying to uh, lessen the damage being just done. But considering how much they've actually taken and how things are going, I'd say we are uh, doing pretty well. 5% of this is a single candy, as you can see, but... Also, some of it are from battle, 1%. So, once they act there, uh, you can see here, I can move troops up here, try and snatch off all of these armies, which will give me uh, some war score back. And once I do that, I can also uh, can also start to regain, um, regain some control of my lands. The two armies that scale right now are that 12k army and this 14k army. Uh, probably also, uh, no, that one ain't scary. Uh, as I said, we'll have our small armies here run around, try to uh, pick off, uh, pick off, uh, pick off Ming wherever we can. But uh, for now, we'll uh, we'll have to see what we'll do. As you can see, we are start to win some battles. We're taking back Luan Prabang, and right now I think we'll actually be able to uh, push them back out. As you can see, they don't have that many troops left in my counties. They actually have less troops than I have, but they have re reinforcements. But at the same time, they, it seems their manpower uh, pool has been completely depleted right now. So I should be able to push them back out, but uh, with great cost, I think. It will uh, take my manpower pool quite much down, and once it's down, I will not be getting it up for a while. So we'll go ahead, fight these armies ASAP, try to re-siege these uh, counties, and uh, see if we can make a deep peace deal with, uh, with Ming that's favorable to both of us. Another one battle, as we can see, we are slowly fighting them back right now, we uh, should be able to actually take back most of our provinces. Uh, they're actually pulling back and with this we should also be able to attack Sam in the end. Uh, but right now I have uh, to start splitting up my armies simply because manpower is being depleted. I have to uh, to try and stop them. Assam will be... Uh, well, they won't be a primary target, they will be 4 5 secondary, something like that. They won't be something that I'll be focusing on uh, on sorting out anytime soon, really. It's uh, it's just they're just in the war for themselves, so it's not really a anything I like to focus on to uh, deal with. But with Ming uh, losing ground like this, you should probably see some advantages gained for for our, us. That is, but. They have a 20k army here, which really, really can hit hard if uh, given the opportunity. So, uh, yeah, I will have to fight them. 
a lot, I think, but at this point it should be possible to force them back, to force them to uh, actually give up. I think I can make a peace deal. Nope. Still not interested in peace. Yeah, so I don't know what's needed to actually make them give up, but for now we'll uh, have to see. Another unit uh, destroyed, we'll also go ahead uh, and destroy that army. Do some resieging over here, uh, we're basically resieging everything right now. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, be lucky enough to pull it off. Uh, I don't think Ming is support with anyone else, as you can see. So it's kind of weird that they aren't pushing these guys uh, towards me. But uh, I'm not really complaining, I uh, <laughs> I need the, the free time basically to uh, try and push back. But it will be interesting. Manpower is uh, near depletion, so yeah, not good that either. Yeah, I didn't want to detach the siege. I wanted to uh, split in half. I think move them up there. Uh, yeah, they'll gain a little bit of attrition, but it it simply have to do. Uh, I'll uh, continue to f try and fight back and. Uh, but as you can see, things are looking much better right now than uh, when the war started. We uh, have probably destroyed a... I don't know how many regiments. But as you can see, it's tearing into our war exhaustion as well. Ming is at max. Assam is the only one that uh, haven't really had anything to do with war exhaustion so far. So they're okay. But uh, yeah. Also rebels down here, which needs to be dealt with. But not really an issue right now. I'll use this these forces to deal with them, uh, but for now I I don't have the manpower to do so. We'll uh, we'll have to uh, allow them to come in second line. Things are looking up. We have just reached Chiang Mai and uh, Chiang Rai. Uh, Thang Long should probably follow soon. Still, they have quite a lot of troops uh, at the border here. But I'm also a little bit concerned that they don't have any rebels. Uh, I don't think these are cores. Nope, this one isn't a core at least. And as you can see, we are currently pushing them backwards into uh, into their own county. But as I'm running out of manpower, things are aren't looking that good, really. But from the CGC, you can see that uh, we are uh, we're making some progress, uh, albeit a little bit. So uh, it should be all right to uh, to hope for a white piece in this war. We at back just came back under our control again, which is quite nice. Uh, just to be safe, we'll actually scorch the lands we uh, retake and then move. Uh, our troops back it will allow me to uh, to uh, to at least get a little bit of a safe zone I guess uh, because if they actually come over now and want to try and uh, I don't know fight me again they will suffer a lot of losses and that will basically be uh, be important to uh, keep them away for now uh, yeah we'll have to uh, to pull them back quite a lot there we go Two more. We are uh, making progress. We are taking back our uh, land, more or less, and things are looking quite good right now. We uh, should be able to take down Assam as well. Uh, should probably move. Uh, Sword is stronger than the book. Lose five cultural tradition. Can think about cultural tradition. We should probably do this. Uh, but yeah, Assam will probably be uh, an X right now. It's the easiest thing to do, really. And I still haven't been able to finish the mission. Protect against Ming. Which means they still have a bigger army than I have, and uh, well, worrisome. Still, not too worris <laughs> worrisome. We are making, as I said, headway. We can now move our troops down here to uh, deal with the rebels. I uh, believe I scorched all four of these. So once Ming actually once again comes over the border, they will suffer uh, horrendous losses, and uh, we'll be able to uh, to take advantage of that. Patani nationalists have been able to win uh, the siege down here, which is uh, troublesome, but again, not really an issue at this point. Uh, the only thing Ming now holds is these five provinces here. We have uh, started the siege of Assam, we are starting the resieging of Chittagong and Manipur as well. And, well, they don't have really have that many troops at the border right now, but as you can see, they are constantly producing. Give them a month or three, and we're back at status or the beginning. And that basically means that we'll have to continue this war of attrition. Once Ming actually gains a lot more attrition, they will uh, suffer. But uh, seeing as it is now, they have a, what 55k men left. I have 46. 
we're basically even, so offer a white piece would not accept. Offer a tribute where I give up my deals, uh, my cores, and probably one land or two. Let's see here. They would not accept this offer. What? What is it that they want then? I don't get it. I. Uh, they're just messing with me. But still, as you can see, I can hold my ground pretty well against Ming, but still, it's going to be <laughs> problematic. And the fun thing is, since Ming actually called him Assam, I will be able to uh, annex them. I am thankful though that Assam didn't uh, become war leader and call him Bihar, but it's Ming I'm against, what am I worried about? Rebels down here could possibly have opened up the opportunity for me to attack Ceylon and uh, Tyrannicor. Will not, however, since... Uh, I'm dealing with Ming and we'll have to do some uh, some uh, peace time afterwards to simply allow myself to uh, to replenish my manpower and uh, lower my war exhaustion. Things are looking up once again. We have taken Sagaing and uh, Kyakus back or Kyause or however you pronounce it. I'm bad with uh, things like that, you know, so uh, no worries there. Uh, Manipur and Chittagong is coming along nicely. We are also sieging up here. Once these armies are freed and I can actually put them to good use against Ming, we should uh, be able to force uh, a good deal. As you can see, they have a bunch of troops running back and forth on uh, the border. But as it stands now, I should probably start actually decreasing war exhaustion already. But <laughs> rebels are rising up, which will gain some more slowly. Patani will soon be ours again, and Parak. Uh, I'll probably keep. The keep these uh, 8k men uh, down here simply to uh, make sure rebels don't get uh, the upper hand up here though I'll probably just annex these guys and keep uh, these two here standing simply to uh, fight rebels if they pop up uh, other than that there aren't really much happening right now I should probably uh, do this release the siege so to speak uh, yeah they're actually moving to Vietbach so they actually stopped there, and it's actually a uh, promise that has been... Uh, there we go, won another battle. Uh, we'll allow these guys to stand here. Battle of Assam. Siege of Chittagong is back in Ryukyu in hands. Uh, move over to Brahmaputra, if you please. And uh, Well, Assam is also being seen Naga. Uh, these 8k men are gaining attrition down here, so we should probably do, go ahead and do that. Rebels are winning a battle. Move these guys up to support. Uh, Udong. Boom. Uh, as long as we can just keep them out of our provinces, I will be pretty happy. Patani is back in our hands. So is this one. Uh, go back to Mentioni. And you can go to Sukutai. You can stay. Vf Bach, uh, these guys will suffer some horrendous attrition sooner or later so they will also be uh, depleting slowly as you can see I'm actually having a little manpower growth right now but still it won't, won't last long if, uh, if this keeps up so we'll go ahead and recruit another general I believe all my units have a general right now I first thought he was actually uh, I see here is it Assam yeah Assam wants a piece and we're not going to give in to them and well it's it's not great, but looking okay. We uh, have more or less beaten them back, but we are also back at double, back at square one, I guess. Look at this, they're just reinforcing. They have four rebels here and uh, six rebels up here. Actually, Manchu Patriots, which is quite nice. But still, they aren't actually wanting anything. I'm actually going in positive now. I'll offer to concede defeat. Nope. Off to uh, give up my deals, off to give up my cores. Of to give them a couple of provinces. Still not uh, going for it. I think it's because of Assam. So if I annex them, perhaps then they'll uh, agree to a peace deal. But uh, as of now, I'm I'm in a corner. Ming is also decreasing the war exhaustion. So yeah, we uh, we'll have to see how this works out. Unfortunately, there are still some pickles to deal with, but. Uh, all in all, things are looking up. Ming has been beaten back into their own lands. They have uh, one small army in uh, side of my borders, but they have a lot of them just running around. 15k army coming down here. Uh, go ahead, do uh, another scorching before you leave, please. Nope, can't do that. So how long does Scorch Land last here? 
let's see. Well, stop then. Nope. Yeah, still, just move to Sukutai and uh, we'll deal with uh, we'll deal with it when that time comes, so to speak. Uh, this will unfortunately have to be the end of uh, this part, but uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, a like, anything really, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye.